In this video, we're going to look at finding the values for x when it has negative numbers on the same side of the equation as it. Again, in this problem, we'll think about the x as some unknown strip, but this time with the x is negative 5, so we'll put 5 little negative circles here. On the other side of the equation is a 4, 4 positive, so we'll put 4 positive circles over here. And again, like last time, our goal is going to be to get the x alone, that x strip to find out what value it weighs. But it's hanging out with these five negative circles. Just like we could get rid of a positive circle with a negative circle, we can get rid of a negative circle with a positive circle. And so if I were to introduce five positive circles to the left side, to stay balanced, I'll put five positive circles on the right side. What we'll see happen is the circles will subtract out to 0, and we're just left with the x alone on the left. And this time, with 9 positive values on the right. The x strip must have a value of 9. Rather than going through the work of showing the picture every time, We'll balance through the equal sign, and to get x alone, we have to get rid of these five negatives. To get rid of the five negatives, we have to introduce five positives on both sides of the equation. Notice negative 5 and positive 5 subtract out to 0, leaving just the x on the left side. 4 plus 5 is 9, and so now we know this x is representing the number 9. Notice if we replace the x with 9, 9 minus 5 is indeed 4, like the original equation suggested. Let's take a look at a few more problems where the x is on the same side with some negatives that we need to get rid of. In this first example down here at the bottom, we've got the x with a negative 6. To get rid of the negative 6, we need 6 positives introduced on both sides to maintain balance. The negative 6 and positive 6 subtract out to 0, and we're left with x all alone like we want. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. x must have a value of 4. In this middle example, the x is on the other side, but the pattern is the same. We want the x alone, so we need to get rid of these 7 negatives. We get rid of 7 negatives with 7 positives on both sides. Negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3, and all that's left on the right side is the x, which is what we want. Similarly, on the last example, the x is on the same side as a negative 8. To get rid of those 8 negatives, we need to introduce 8 positives to both sides of the equation. The negative 8 and positive 8 are gone, and the x is finally alone, like we want. 5 plus 8 is 13, and we have our solution. We can check these solutions by going back and plugging the values we found for x into the original equation. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. In the middle equation, x, or negative 3, minus 7 is negative 10. Negative 8 plus x or 13, negative 8 plus 13 is 5. We can get x alone, getting rid of the negatives by introducing positives on both sides of an equation. 